Welcome to the Jungle, a frantic journey of motherhood and self-discovery, starts with Annalise Lawton examining how she lost her authentic self growing up. You try to fit in with a group of girlfriends and maybe you change yourself to fit in with them and you give up a piece of yourself again. And as a woman, you go through life pivoting and changing yourself and giving up pieces of yourself to fit into different places. And then you become a mom and you're this Swiss cheese version of who you're supposed to be. And you think that motherhood is the reason that you've completely lost yourself, but I believe you were lost before you even got there. She chose to share her voice to help break down the stigma around postpartum depression. After I had my son, I knew something wasn't right. I wasn't sure if that's what it felt like to be a mom, to be so easily frustrated and sad and resentful. Um, I thought that's kind of what motherhood felt like. And I didn't want to talk about it with anybody because I was afraid they would either take my baby away or judge me for feeling that way. And having such a low self-esteem going into motherhood to begin with, I didn't have the strength to say, this is how I'm feeling and this is what I need. Um, and I think lots of moms feel the same way. They don't know what motherhood is supposed to feel like because everybody talks about it being so wonderful, but there are so many hard moments that aren't talked about. Eight months after giving birth, she was pregnant with her second son and received some unwelcome news. I got diagnosed with a tumor around my facial nerves during that pregnancy as well and was at risk of having paralysis on the side of my face. So I ended up writing a Facebook post about postpartum depression, maternal mental health, and the type of health care I received in comparison to treatment for my tumor and treatment for my depression during pregnancy, along with the aftercare for my C-section and my surgery to have my tumor removed and just how different those experiences were. That post went completely viral, um, over six million shares, um, and it was translated into seven different languages. My husband's friend is a doctor in the States and it circled through his ER department, through other doctors and nurses, and it was just so clear that this hadn't been talked about enough and needed to be talked about, so I wrote a book about it. <laughs> Come here. You know what? I really hope that people feel inspired to be truthful with themselves to begin with. Um, if you're struggling, it's okay to accept that and it's okay to ask for help. I also hope that moms come out just feeling like they're not alone and that there are so many other people that can relate to what they're going through. And that's basically what's, what the book is about, is finding yourself again through the turmoil of motherhood and the good things that come with motherhood and just reconnecting with who you are authentically. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.